Hey guys, uh, Park on the Dark here. I'm, I'm bringing you some more. Let's play Don't Starve Together. Joining me as always is the Ecliptic One. Greetings! What is happening? Um, not much. Okay, you know what? I, I'm. The curiosity is killing me, so I'm actually gonna check how to do the what, chest the thing. stone thing? Okay. Yeah, I'm well, because. Uh, suspicious marbles can be found anywhere in the world and can be placed on the sculptures repairing them. When a full moon occurs, each repaired sculpture can be mined with a pickaxe to drop the sketch marble and spawn its corresponding clockwork bishop, clockwork knight, or clockwork rook. If oh, full moon okay. ends, mining the sculpture will simply return the suspicious marble. So then we can get a clockwork thing from that. That's fine. I am a-okay with that. Alternatively, when a new moon occurs, each repaired sculpture can be mined with a pickaxe to drop a sketch, marbles, and spawn its corresponding shadow piece. So it's a new moon. Shadow piece. Since the sculptures are not renewable, players must turn to chest pieces to spawn more shadow pieces. Hmm. Whoa. I think these are the evil shadows. Oh. The pictures and they have yeah they have different levels Ooh. level one level two level three. Oh okay. my god that's terrifying all right cool their level three forms are so terrifying the shadow to those are introducing new ring they are based on the clockwork knight clockwork bishop and clockwork rook and they have different attack patterns they spawn after a chest piece corresponding to each creature is hammered down during a new moon or when a corresponding marble sculpture is mined during a new moon. Well, neat. That's not as bad as I thought it was, although those other forms... It is very bad. Fun. It is extremely bad. It says when any of the shaking chest pieces is hammered, all other nearby chess pieces will instantly break and spawn their shadow pieces, meaning all those things will all spawn. All those statues? Ooh, yeah. cool. That means plenty of uh, gears. We're good. We're set. And they level up if you kill one of their friends. <laughs> Let's murder them all. Wow. That is like a domino. <laughs> domino effect. You kill level twos, all the remaining pieces become level threes. Cool. Let's do it. I don't think we can. <laughs> What are you, a coward? No, I'm saying Those it's- coward words right there. How do they go make it past the first shadow piece? Also, what, uh, what so I wish it would show you what set, uh, what part of the moon you're in during the day. Oh yeah, that would be pretty nice. Come on, don't serve devs. I hardly ever pay attention during the, the night. It just- Eventually it becomes a full moon and I'm like, oh, look yeah. at that. You just notice during the full moon, it's like, oh, there it is. What am I missing? I'm missing grass. I need some grass. That's right, I did just make a bunch of rope. Dirt. Hey, did I? Oh. Wait. I need rot. The blue mushroom. Before it spoils. You must have just walked by here because I just saw Chester. <laughs> I did. Okay. Oh my god, I found another one. No Two way. other ones. And also Two the other. evil biome. Two other what? Chest thingies. Oh, sweet. Let's definitely spell out our own doom. How would I even carry them there? Very slowly. I think these are meant for another place. Like, I think each biome or each of those chest uh, places has one use. And I've used that one, so. Oh. Thank you, lizards. Also, I think this is where the dragonfly is. Cannot confirm yet. Yep, least, this uh, is it, because I hear hounds. Yep, there they are. At least there's a touchstone pretty close by. Ooh, I found a piece. I mean, a thing, a track. Ooh, I definitely follow it. You always use more meat. Alright, here it goes. Oh, this leads into the evil biome, though. 
stinks. Oh. Oh no, don't chase the lizard. What a bully. <laughs> Oh. oh! The tumbleweed just uh, it went past the lava pool and it caught on fire. Caught fire. <laughs> There's just this ball of fire just rolling. Yeah, this is definitely where the dragonfly is. I just I'm scared to track this qualifant because it feels like it's heading towards it. And I can't outrun the thing because I'm in my weak form. Yeah, what the heck is a tumbleweed doing all the way over here? They get out. Come back! Come back, friend! Thank you. Yay. I'm like zooming out trying to see if there's a... A dragonfly. <laughs> but also trying to hurry up before the track disappears and night is here. Can I even make a fire? Yeah, I can. Hey, more lizards. Tumbleweeds. Okay, I wish I could chase them. Oh no, oh no. Animal is close. I found it. Build the fire, build the fire. Come on, there we go. And now we're gonna eat and go mighty. Or not mighty, but just my regular form. <laughs> Come on, hurry before it's daytime. Where can I get more rocks? Oh, I have off hands. I'll tell you exactly where, just give me a second, I'm in the middle of a fight. Okay. Got him. Okay, so it is... Uh, remember how where our base is and then if you go s uh, south east -ish? Southeast. Uh, you'll get to it eventually. Try to ignore... I mean, it's... The road kind of makes like an, a loop, so it loops back to where our base is, so try to go to the farthest, furthest place of the loop before um, it makes a circle back. Sure. If that makes sense. <laughs> I will figure it out, I'm sure. Also, be very careful in this biome. I don't think I need to tell you that, but I definitely feel like the dragonfly is here, even though I haven't ran into it. Uh, yeah, he probably is, especially if the ground is all scorched. Oh, let's explore. Just picking up as much grass as I can from the lizards. <laughs> Tumbleweed. Man, tumbleweeds are great. Yep. What's your favorite generation of Pokemon? I don't know if I've asked you this before. Probably third gen. And I had a feeling you were gonna say that, but I was like, meh. <laughs> That's where a lot of my favorites are from, like the Flygon and Zangoose. All those cool guys. I feel like... I love the original third gen, but I hated the remakes. Mm, the remakes are kind of lackluster to me. 
I don't know why. And I can't pinpoint it. Like, I can't explain it to you. Like, if you were to say why. Yeah. You'd be like, I don't know. This felt boring. Yeah, it was kind of... weird. I definitely did not get as much uh, playtime out of the remix as I did the original. Right? I don't think I even finished that. I think it's... I am fully done. I know I finished it. I had a wiggly tough. <laughs> just a wiggly tough. I had other stuff too, but I just remember <laughs> the wiggly tough so fondly for some reason. Wish I could remember what I nicknamed it, but I cannot. A dragonfly. Would you kindly walk towards that tentacle and die? Thanks. Where is this thing? And you can usually see it far off, but no, I'm just not like, seeing it at all. Who will win? Probably. Tentacle or koalaphant? What? <laughs> Who will win? Tentacle or koalaphant? Uh, tentacle. Probably. That thing is like... Take so many hits. Yeah! Oh no, poor lizard. And then Buddy, I killed the down. tentacle. You did? All. Well, yeah, the koala fit weakened the, it for me. What did the tentacle drop? Uh, just monster money. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the dragonfly. <laughs> Let's get the show right You gotta say hello! <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Hello, dragonfly. Oh man, this is, is in, out of all the giants, it's the most intimidating. Yeah, he is the scariest. The other ones, you can at least get to a point where they don't chase you to death. Well, well, not the of. cyclops. You kind of can. Like you can run away from him far enough that yeah, he you can, you can, you can. Leave you alone at that point. Get on the road and you're good. Mm -hmm. But the dragonfly, he does not care at all. I do not. Okay, maybe it was just my imagination. Nope! I still hear him. Hmm. I don't hear anything yet. You sure you're not just following I'm going back to base. Oh man. I love it when my- oh, I hear puppies. I love it when my, uh, Windows, uh, gives me notifications while I'm gaming. Would you like to update? No! But we've got sure this got update for you. You should know when, like, it should automatically know I'm in gaming mode to shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna just remove your meatballs and then do a meaty stew, because I need it right it. now. Yeah, yeah, just whatever you need to do. I didn't even remember making meatballs. <laughs> but it sounds like something I would do. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Seeds. Okay, I got it. Do you need food or are you good? I'm good. If only you could see my inventory. <laughs> it's mostly meat right now. <laughs> <laughs> got all kinds of meat. Here you go, you can have these as a present. Oh nice, now I have a 12 stack. Here you go. <laughs> I'll make all kinds of meat. I have so much grass here, you want some? Sure. All right. Nice. They better hurry up and let us murder them. I'm bored. I'm hurry up. Waiting. I'm cut down this tree. Hurry up, dogs! Fight me. Oh, they're there. Fight me! Yeah. Oh no. We should be able to kill him super fast with the two of us. Well, don't let him hit you. Just go no, That's fine. Helmet. I can take the hits. <laughs> well, don't. That was it? Yeah. Nice. Weaklings. How's your sanity, by the way? Uh, 86. Well, I'm gonna give this jerky to you then. Yay. Gives you some sanity back. That helps a lot. 
Thank you. Now, what to do? Oh, I know what to do. Bunch make. of meatballs. Make a hat. And then. I need. What to make that thing hat? Minor hat. Alright, I need one of those. So I need to make a bug net. Survival. Uh, I need rope. We're fine. Rope. Okay. Put these down. Survival. Bug net. Equip that. Catch one of these. Do you have nitro in here? That's very cool. And then I can make it. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to make that. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Let's put some of these away. You still need the blue cap, right? Yeah. Good. One more vegetable or fruit. Do you have any um rot? No? No, no I do not. I'm gonna go see if the cat queens have any. So I tend to murder things and then those things tend to go bad. Yeah, that's true. That's where I found my rot last time. I got it from those merman heads. Oh, okay. If you've seen any, those will instantly give you rot. Yeah, I have not seen any, unfortunately. Was there any in the purple biome? I don't remember. I saw one sleeping a while back, but I don't remember where it was. I thought about murdering him because he was sleeping. Damn it, when I was searching for the piece, I forgot to open my timer. There it is. Oh. I closed. No, I just closed it. <laughs> oh. Bad habit. Whoops. I mean, it's a good habit, but not in this situation. I don't know why I, em I emphasize closing my, um,. My phone. It'll close by itself, so. Oh, you mean like that ring it down? Yeah, like I. No, I, not like fully shutting it off, but just yeah, like. Sleep mode. Yeah, and I, I do that, and even though it'll do it by itself, and it has enough battery. This thing, if I didn't charge it, it would probably last me two days. Mm. So. <laughs> so. So bad. Okay. Oh, we should collect bees and make a bee box, but okay. I haven't seen any. You don't- you don't like monster lasagna? Come on, cat. Oh, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst, cat. I know who will eat this. <laughs> I'm, totally I'm gonna go to the evil biome. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go to the evil biome and see if there's merman heads. Okay. That usually okay. gives me rot. Also, I forgot to take a look at the moon's phase. Oh, yeah. I have not been paying attention, like I told you. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Ooh, a merman versus a tentacle. I put my money on the tentacle. Yep. Those are pretty. Wow. You can carry them around and murder things with their dead bodies. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> oh dear. Tried to kill the tentacle, didn't work. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tentacle. Did it despawn? Oh no, there it is. Why isn't it spawning? What's going on? There's a tentacle here and then it just stopped sprouting. Oh. Took most of my health. Alright. Ah, some rot on the ground from fighting spiders. Wait. 
Oh my god, they're fighting the tentacles again. <laughs> Silly spiders. I got the rot. Run, run. And that was for the mushroom thing? Yeah. Because then I want your blue mushroom to uh, yeah, rot. It's, it's not... Uh, it's not even halfway yet, so we're good for a little bit. The other thing that I need to do is find the chest pieces immediately so I can get a fridge going. Oh, we already know where the chest pieces are. <laughs> not those way. chest pieces. What? You don't want those chest pieces? I don't think they dropped yours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, remember to look at the moon today. Tonight. I will not. See, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm going back to make that mushroom farm. I started watching a new anime, which is ridiculous. Uh -huh. It's called Baki. I think it's on Netflix too. Mm. And um, basically, <laughs> it's about some dude whose ability is to... Uh, how do I put this? He can basically look at your DNA. Huh. And he can tell like what kind of how good of a fighter you are. Okay. Like or if you stand any chance or if you're a threat. So oh my god. <laughs> <That's just shit. laughs> a little warning? Jeez. I brought you a friend. You were talking, I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh yeah, that's true. Um <laughs> But yeah, so you know, he's just doing his thing. He's just a 17 year old, he doesn't even know his own strength. And then all of a sudden, this is how it starts. All of a sudden, like, out of different locations in the world, you have uh, high level threat security prisoners breaking out. Uh -huh. And they're all heading to Japan to f to no defeat. Right. And it's like, some of the. <laughs> what? <laughs> the one of the one of, like, it's just ridiculous that the amount of, like,. Things they do in the show, like there was one point where the one of the prisoners was located in Japan, in behind this like glass prison, kind of like Hannibal. Okay. And he, they're talking and they're like saying, "Oh, he can't get out of there. It's safe, and we're good here because that glass can't be broken by a rocket." And then he stands up and he's like, "Do you gentlemen know what the most dangerous gas in the world is?" And they're like. You stay back, and they're like pointing the guns at him, even though he's like behind a glass wall. And you're like, eh, nothing's gonna happen. And then he kind of like puts his hand on the glass, and he vibrates it so much, like breaks it, like kind of like Magneto did. At yeah, one, yeah. I think at one point. Vibrations I'm like, are dangerous, man. Yeah, I'm like, okay, sure. Let's say that does work. And he <laughs> he goes up to both of them, and he's like, I asked you a question, and you didn't answer me. <laughs> And I'm like, oh god, what's, what's he gonna say? So he says, I'll tell you what the damn most dangerous gas is. It's this. And he blows into the one of the dude's ears, and the, <laughs> the guy's brains come out the other end. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm not sure that's how anatomy works. I'm pretty sure that's not how anything works. <laughs> oh, can you make the mushroom planner yet? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Oh, right. I made something mad. Okay. I don't have my helmet. I forgot to make one. Five, run. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, got him. <laughs> Not a chance. Add to my pile of meat. If you ever need any, let me know. I've got plenty. Oh my god. I'm so worried you're gonna summon, <laughs> summon a... What's it called? A Yukus or a no. Fart? It'll be fine. Oh right, you wanted me to make the thing. Here you go. Please. Uh, where do you want me to put it though? Ah, oh, dang it, oh, you I made monster that again. Lasagna. Stupid dirty and that's why I thought it was I'll put it here. Root. This is a nice place where the farms are. And then uh, you can plant it there. Okay. Yep. Veggies. Right, 
Oh, I gave you a cool elephant trunk earlier, by the way, if you need to. Yeah, yeah, I eat it. Do you need another <laughs> one? I've got another one. Uh... No, I'm good for now. Okay. And let's not waste it. Um... Well, it's, it's okay, for your the... HP, if you need HP. Yeah, yeah, if I... If it gets really bad, I'll let you know. Right now, I'm at 165, so I'm pretty good. Alright, so let's leave it off here for now, and then we'll continue again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. As always, we shall catch you on the next episode of Let's Play Don't Starve Together, where we won't forget what moon phase moon is. Oh, I didn't remember the look. <laughs> no, I so did I. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.